think it's time for us to touch on pleasure anxiety, which I don't think we've ever talked about. You don't? We haven't? I don't think so. Um, a question came in. First, let me say something. Okay. This is a concept by Wilhelm Reich, one of my all-time heroes. And he's the one that coined the phrase pleasure anxiety. And I remember the first time I read that, it was back in the 60s. It resonated. And you went, yeah. I went, that's me. It's like a, the fear of having too much fun, too much pleasure. It's like, oh, oh, this, you know, I'll die. Something's terribly wrong. You don't want to lose control. And I see it manifest in women where they'll say, like, you'll be going down on them or pleasuring them. And they'll say, it's too intense. Stop. I mean, I've had men also push me off. They'll say, it's too intense. Well, now that could be because they've had an orgasm and... No, no, no. It wasn't an orgasm yet. I think that when you work up to a really big orgasm, it can be scary. Oh, no. The, 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 yeah, yeah, the pleasure building. It's like, what's going to happen? I'm gonna, I, what, I remember the time when I said to Grant, uh, could, I, could I die from this? It was like, <laughs> can I die from an orgasm? <laughs> he said, die from having an orgasm? No, you, I've heard of people dying to have one. But, but not I've dying never... from one. <laughs> so, pleasure said, yes. It is a problem. So we had a question that came in through one of the women in the body sex groups, uh, Emily Power Smith. Emily, we love you. Betty calls her Irish. Yes. Um, and what was the story with this man? He would have an orgasm, and then afterwards he felt like a generalized pain throughout his body. It's like a flu symptoms, you know, feverish. Malaise kind of. Uh, yeah, just ugh. He would be sick. His joints hurt. You know, he would have a temporary flu. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So my thing was, it's psychological, it's sexual guilt. He shouldn't be, and it's from masturbation. He shouldn't be playing with his ding dong anyway. And I, so I thought, I assumed he was Irish, but she said, no, he was a Muslim. Same thing, same repression, same stupidity. You can't masturbate. Any time any organization says you can't masturbate, get the hell away from them. And what it is, is I don't know... I mean, as uh, growing up as a child, I don't remember one encouraging message like, you should masturbate. It's not just about pro not prohibiting it, but what about encouraging it? Oh, my goodness. That's what we do. <laughs> and encouraging healthy <laughs> masturbation. And th this is how we are. We discover our sexuality. Mm -hmm. This is how the teens, when they've got those raging hormones. Oh, God. Well, but I, I couldn't have made it through my teens no way. without it. No way. Oh, no, I could have made it. I would have been fucking the little boyfriend in the car. And then you car. would have ended up knocked up. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. Take the, the edge off. Yep. The little masturbation always helps. There it goes. So when you, you're you experiencing this pleasure anxiety, how do you work with your partner? Or if it's you, what should you do? How do you work <laughs> through that? How do you um, feel? How do you... Get to a point where you accept that you deserve pleasure. Well, what I told Emily is that as soon as he has regular sex, as soon as he has sex with a woman, he puts his pee-pee inside a vagina, that it'll probably disappear. Oh. That would be my speculation. Pleasure anxiety, sexual guilt, religious prohibition, etc., etc. This is all the same thing. And it's in every culture. It's global. Yes, it is. And, and I, it's the fear of having too much of a good thing. Yeah. I understand that. And it's almost like if you get a good thing, they'll, someone will take it away from you. Like we were always joking when we were kids because my parents were so religious and anything that was fun or good was bad. And we used to always say if, if mom and dad had a bumper sticker that sums up <laughs> our childhood, it would say fun kills. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, if it feels good, you probably can't do it. Yeah, there's it, something wrong with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if it feels good. And, of course, my mother was the opposite. You know, if it feels good, it, what could, nothing could be Embrace wrong. Embrace it. Nothing's wrong with it. I, you know, how I dealt with sexual guilt, and I've talked about it before, <clears throat> is I would imagine if I had a negative thought about myself, or I would just imagine pulling it out of my head and putting it in a blue Tiffany's box. I don't know why blue Tiffany. Oh, because you're a spoiled brat. And putting a lid on it. <laughs> and I did that enough that every time I would have that thought, I'd stop myself. And it took, like... A year or two, but all of a sudden I found that I didn't ever have that thought again. That's the same thing of getting rid of any addiction. We have power over these things that we don't realize. The way I did it was I said, the thought or the feeling would come up and I would simply verbally say to myself, I don't do guilt anymore. I don't do pleasure anxiety anymore. I just would tell myself, I don't do that anymore. And so then I would stop. Then I would go back to whatever I was doing and move through it. But I like the idea of the little box. It was just something physical so I could think of, and it was like, okay, it's gone. 
Actually, that's a technique that one of the New Age healers was using at one point when I took a, a seminar of some sort. We put it in a little, I think it was a black box. I don't know why mine was Robin's egg blue. I'm you sure. were waiting for your diamond something <laughs> or other from the <laughs> Tiffany blue box with a little ribbon on top. Mm -hmm. Listen, you having any kind of, ugh, that's too much of a good thing, or I'm, I'm feeling very guilty about feeling so good, get out her little blue box. Yeah, put that negative thought in it. Move and on. get rid of it. We can't have too much pleasure. Now, that'll cause us a shit storm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Let's work on it. No, let's play at it.